Hello everybody, welcome to the automated script of Kong. The easiest and the finest way to start your automation testing. Hello, I am Mahesh and my goal today is to help you understand what is Java and why Java. Immediately the first question comes into our mind is what is Java? So Java is a programming language and a computing platform for application development. It was first released by Sun Microsystem in 1995 and later it acquired by Oracle Cooperation. It is one of the most used programming language. Now how Java developed and what was its purpose? James Gosling and the team initiated the Java language project in June 1991. Java was originally designed for interactive television, but it was too advanced for the digital cable television industry at the time. The language was initially called oak after an oak tree that stood outside Gosling's office. Later the project went by the name green and was finally renamed Java from the Java coffee. Gosling designed Java with C++ style syntax that system and application programmers would find it familiar. There were five primary goals in the creation of Java language. It must be a simple object-oriented and familiar, it must be robust and secure, it must be architectural neutral and portable, it must execute with high performance and it must be interpreted, threaded and dynamic. Java Platforms Sun has defined and supports four editions of Java targeting different application environments and segmented many of its APIs so that belongs to one of the platform and the platform are Java Platform Standard Edition, that is Java SE. It is a computing platform for de development and deployment of portable code for desktop and the server environments. Then comes Java Platform Enterprise Edition, that is Java EE, with specification for enterprise features such as distributed computing and the web services. Then Java Platform for Micro Edition or Java ME is a computing platform for development and deployment of portable code for embedded and the mobile devices like microcontrollers, sensors, gateways, mobile phones, personal digital assistants, TV setup boxes and the printers. Later, it comes JavaFX script technology which is a highly productive scripting language that enables content developers to create rich media and content for deployment of Java environments. Next is why Java? First of all, Java is open source programming language. On November 13, 2006, Sun released much of Java as a free and open source software under the terms of GNU General Public License. On May 2007, Sun finished the process making all of Java's core code available under free software or open source distribution terms. Aside from the small portion of code to which Sun did not hold the copyright. Open source basically refers to a program in which the source code is available to the public for free of cost, for use or for modification from its original design. Then comes Java is a platform independent. Java is secured language and Java is fast. Let me take you to the next slide to explain more on the platform independent. We said Java is a platform independent language. What is meant by platform independent? Platform independent means writing Java code in one operating system like Windows and executing that code on another platform like Linux. Sun Microsystems slogan was Vora that is write once, run anywhere. When we said Java code is a platform independent in the sense that the same Java application or algorithms typically compiled to Java bytecode and package in a .jar file will run identically on Windows and Linux. Now what is bytecode? Bytecode is a machine language of Java virtual machine. By using bytecode execution, Java proves it's a platform independent language. Java bytecode is a result of the compilation of Java program and intermediate representation of that program which is a machine independent. The Java bytecode gets processed by the Java virtual machine instead of the processor. It is the job of JVM to make the necessary resource calls 
to the processor in order to run the bytecode. Okay, now let's see the execution of Java file. So this is a Java file, which is a source code file written in the Java programming language, which was originally developed by Sun Microsystem, but is now maintained by the Oracle. It uses an object-oriented approach where structured data types called classes and those are used to instantiate objects at runtime. Now, Java source code files are compiled into the .class file using the Java compiler like Java C command. A class file contains bytecode that can be executed by the Java virtual machine. The JVM can be downloaded for every major operating system including Windows, Mac OS and the Linux. The Java bytecode is not completely compiled but rather just an intermediate code sitting in the middle because it still has to be interpreted and executed by the JVM installed on the specific platform such as Windows, Mac or Linux. So the final JVM provides you the runtime environment to present the final output. In conclusion, let me sum up my main points. Today we saw what is Java, why Java. We saw Java features like Java is an open source, Java is a platform independent, Java is secure, Java is fast. In the next tutorial, I am going to explain JVM that is Java Virtual Machine, JRE, Java Runtime Environment and JDK, Java Development Kit. Thank you for watching this video. I am happy to answer any question you might have.